again. It's time for my monthly vlog. I want to let you know what's been happening for the this past month at USD. I recently visited Maine at the Governor Baxter School for the Deaf there. They set up a program about five years ago which included the LSL and ASL English programs working together, collaborating meaning their students will go to an LSL classroom or an ASL English classroom during the day, back and forth. I was curious, what are their successes? What are their struggles? What can we learn from their experience? So I watched, discussed, asked some questions of our teachers, and I will have more information to discuss with my staff later. Also, our annual report has been finished and proposed to the Board of Education. It includes statistics, everything related to last year's school year. If you are interested and would like to read the 48 pages, we have posted it on our website. So you can go ahead and read that. Also, recently approved our enrichment funding. That money is from what's called the School Land Trust, meaning the money is not ours. It belongs to the children. We recommend how to use the funding for the benefit of the lives of deaf and blind students all over the state. We have a long list of things that we've proposed and discussed with the Board of Education, who has approved it as well. Now, I want to discuss just a few of some of the deaf and blind list of activities, because there's deaf and blind. I'll just take some three that may be interest of you. The FM systems for all our students across the state who need to use that to access their classroom. We also have added uh, extracurricular activities. That means basketball, volleyball, drama, debate, track, reading clinic. There's just a whole list of different activities for the benefit of our students. The third one is called a Study Abroad. This trip is for 10 students who really earn the right to go, meaning they're required to study the country, learn about their culture, understand how to interact with people there. They also required to earn them some money to go and support their trip. Their behavior expectations, GPA expectations, and it is open all over for any different hardest student all over the state. I encourage you to encourage students to be involved. It's for juniors and seniors, and hopefully we'll have many students in a waiting list that we can pick from that they can go. But we're offering it to 10 students. Also, we want your help in searching and finding a new PIP, Deaf PIP director. If you know anyone who's interested and qualified for this role, I encourage them to apply for this job. We want the best and the brightest, so hopefully you know some of the best and the brightest. So hopefully I'll see you next month.